Hello everyone and welcome to the first update for the Great Maine Bird Quest. I'm up to 23 species photographed in the first nine days, which is a pretty decent start in my opinion. So let's take a look back and see some of the high points and low points of the first nine days. Hello everyone and welcome to day one of the Great Maine Bird Quest. So it turned out to be a cold and windy day, which is not ideal for going out and looking for birds. But I decided to come down and do some searching anyway just to see if I could find anything. So first we're going to check a couple of coastal areas to see if there's any sea ducks kind of hugging the shore and being sheltered from the wind and then we're gonna retreat into the forest and see if there's anything like uh, some chickadees or woodpeckers hanging out, uh, sheltering from the wind in the forest. So let's go see if we can find anything interesting. Well, I just heard a kinglet in one of the trees behind me here and I was looking for it, but I think it was just passing through. Um, kinglets are really hard to photograph because they're really small and they pretty much never stop moving. They always flip between branches looking for little insects and seeds and stuff. So, unfortunately, I won't be adding that to the list quite yet, but we're gonna continue on and see if there's anything a little more cooperative. Well, I finally got my first bird, and it's a black-capped chickadee. I think that's kind of fitting because the black-capped chickadee is the state bird of Maine. So it kind of it's kind of nice that the first bird I got a, a good picture of is the state bird. So it was hanging around in these trees back here and gave me some pretty decent looks while it was foraging around for food. Um, yeah, I'm excited to finally have one in the bag and see what else this day has in store for me. Well, I've been having a pretty productive time here by the coast. There's been a whole bunch of seabirds uh, swimming, swimming by and flying overhead. So I've gotten some pictures of most of them. I'm not sure how good they are, but I kind of knew when I started this challenge that um, a lot of times I would get pictures that I'm not happy with, so I'd have to continuously work to get some better pictures. And I think that's what happened with a lot of these. But I saw some surf scoters. Well, this is embarrassing. Apparently, I'm a little rusty with my bird identification because I actually saw black scoters, not surf scoters, like I said in the video. Some buffle heads, a bald eagle flew overhead, and a common loon gave me a nice little swim by. So it's not a bad start to this challenge. I also had a golden crowned kinglet by the tree line over there fly right up to me, give me some awesome looks. I got some really good pictures of that, and then it actually flew and landed on a branch about three or four feet away from me, which is pretty, it's always awesome when a bird flies up to you like that. But anyways, I'm gonna head back to my car now, doing the, the other half of the loop through the forest and um, see where the rest of the day takes me. Well, I stopped to just check out a viewpoint and ended up getting a few more species, which is pretty exciting. I saw an American widgeon, 
which I don't think is super common around here. So that's a pretty cool sighting. Saw another bald eagle flying over and harassing some gulls. And got a black duck, I believe. I have to check the ID on that one because they look very similar to mallards. So I gotta make sure it's actually a black duck and not just a mallard. Um, and I also got a very quick look at some purple sandpipers, but they got spooked by something and flew off. It was a pretty successful first day, if I do say so myself. I think I got pictures of, of around 10 species or so, which is not a shabby start. Uh, some of them I definitely have to work on improving and getting better pictures of, but yeah, 10 species down, 290 to go. Unfortunately, most of the quest has not been quite as productive as day one was. I've managed to get one or two species every time I've gone out, but it still hasn't been quite like that day one. However, my favorite day so far was day two, when I was lucky enough to find a short-eared owl. Short-eared owls are kind of unusual for owls in that they are a little more active during the day than they are at night. They also like wide open areas, so if you've found one, there's a pretty good chance you're gonna get some pretty good looks at it. In Maine, they tend to be in salt marshes, airports, and meadows, but they're not very common, so I feel very lucky to have been able to spend some time with this owl. I was also able to photograph a boreal chickadee up north, which is pretty cool. I don't really have too many good pictures of them, so it was nice to get some uh, decent shots of a boreal chickadee. I also started working on my gulls. I photographed a herring gull and a great black-backed gull. And normally I don't take too many pictures of gulls because they're just so common, they don't really excite me very much. But one of the things I'm looking forward to about this quest is kind of being forced to photograph all these birds I've kind of been ignoring for my whole uh, photography career and get to know them a little bit better. I also photographed my first common loon of the season in breeding plumage, which is pretty exciting because it's just a nice little reminder that spring is almost here. And I also got a picture of some Canada geese flying in front of the moon, which is kind of exciting because with super common species like Canada geese, I kind of feel like I have to do something special with those images to really make them uh, stand out a little bit just because, again, they're so common and easy to get pictures of. It's definitely been a bit slow so far because I'm still waiting on all those spring migrants to arrive, but I think they're slowly starting to trickle in, so it should really be uh, taking off pretty soon, which is really exciting for me. But anyways, that's about it for this video, so thank you all for watching. I have a gallery on my website of all the images from the quest so far, so I'll put a link to that in the description, so go ahead and check that out. Also, head over to Instagram and follow me on Instagram to see pictures from the quest as well as landscape photos that I take. So anyways, thank you all again for watching. Happy birding, and I will see you in the next video.